On the rigid wall, pressure is not zero. The pressure is maximum, right? The velocity is zero. So that's why I use this expression. I use the same time oscillation as I used over here. Okay? And then using Euler equation, I can get this. In fact, this morning I found that I need to put minus 1 over here, minus, minus. Okay, then what we can see, the pressure oscillation at certain point is like this. And the velocity oscillation is like this. Not like this. And the multiplication of this too will give me the intensity fluctuation like this. But the mean intensity is zero. Mean intensity is zero. That means there is no net energy per unit time can be put in to the medium. Okay? So that means there's a finite duct and a push that is a reaction. Back, force, back and force. What I feel over here would be different with what I feel for the infinite duct case. Intensity in with respect to space look like this and mean intensity is zero. Okay? Mean intensity is zero. Okay, let's look at what happened at point over here. Point over here. Mean intensity at this time is zero. But when as time passes, this one will move down and this one what about the the, 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 what about the uh, value over here? At this point, seven t over. I mean, when x. Uh, okay, when 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 the x is a lambda over four. It's a lambda over four x equal lambda over 4, right? Then L minus lambda over 4, right? But when time t equal to 7t over a, we will got 0 over here. But as the time change, you might have some different values. In fact, what happened is intensity at this point go up and down, up and down. In other words, intensity at certain point can be positive value and negative value and positive value and negative value. Over here, intensity is always positive value. That means for infinite duct case, energy is always, power is always toward to the propagation direction. But in, for the finite case, the energy or power at certain point is oscillating, always oscillating, always oscillating. Okay? So certain po if you, you, you let's, let uh, if you see the intensity at this point and this point, the intensity may look like like this. Different magnitude, but always oscillating plus and minus. Well, that indicates a lot. For instance, when I. Sh 
crystalline. And you measure intensity over here, mean intensity. You will see mean intensity positive because it is propagated. Because I, I, am, I am able to pour in the energy into the medium. But if you see the intensity over here, when I listen it, the intensity you, look, you, you, you will get is the oxalating intensity. Because there is a boundary. What if you, if you see the intensity over here? Okay, you may have some intensity, positive intensity, some intensity oxalating in between. Right? So, see, by seeing the intensity, you, the, the intensity plus certainly shows the information, where is the source is, and the, the, the kind of boundary condition you have. So that's why we always want, we, we, we often want to see the intensity plot. Okay? And I ask you to look at the, uh, the chapter or section that is written for intensity uh, for, your, for your reading assignment. It's, 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 there is a, some derivation and I want you to read it. Okay. Start with page 22 in the text up to 26. So as a conclusion, what I can say is what happened in, in reality would be somewhere in between infinite duct and a finite duct. And the pressure, velocity, intensity behavior of infinite duct and a finite duct is quite different. For infinite duct, there is a mean intensity, non-zero mean intensity. For finite duct, the mean intensity is always zero because physically finite duct with the rigid end means that it's not possible to transport power through the medium because it always oxalate. Okay? All right. Now you learn pressure, velocity, intensity, energy, and so on. Right? And how we measure, and how we scale it, and how we hear, for example, those physical variables. That is another topic of our study today.